Hi, welcome to Filmmaker IQ's video basement. Today I'm going to show you how I turn my indie slider here into a mechanical slider. There it goes. Wow. So I was shooting for a client of mine very recently. I was shooting a lot of talking heads. And I was using this indie slider to get some dolly motion out. It's little sexy dolly shots out of it. But what I found after shooting for basically 10 hour days and shooting of which eight of those hours I was using the slider was the slow shots I was having a real hard time overcoming the momentum it would just slide and then get stuck slide and get stuck slide and get stuck it's very hard to do it over and over again on top of that because of the distance of the slider what happens is you have to bend your body and you're not always going to get that clean shot so I wanted something that I could easily reproduce a motion over and over again and to do very slow motion like this mechanical system here. The first thing I did was I, I raised the end bars here, I don't know if you can see that, I had one inch aluminum spacers to give myself enough space for these little, these little sprocket gears here. Now this sprocket gear here is connected to this wheel, which is our power drive. This sprocket gear is just free floating, it just sits there, it just spins. Between the sprockets we have a quarter inch timing belt that is connected to the sled via a couple screws that I installed in the sled itself. So as you can see, it's a lot easier to create the slide with the uh, with the wheel power wheel here. That isn't quite perfect. There's still a little bit a little bit of jitters, but you can minimize that by using both your arm and the and the wheel here to make your motions. And of course, this thing still operates as a regular slider. So that's it. For more information about the parts I used and for a little more detailed instructions I put together, check out our site at FilmmakerIQ.com. I'm John Hess and I'll see you over there at FilmmakerIQ.com.